Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Insyaallah today we will continue our class on chapter 2.2. In this chapter we will be looking at hydrostatic force on a plane surface. Through this chapter, student will be introduced to average pressure, hydrostatic force, line of action for average pressure, line of action for hydrostatic force, relationship between hydrostatic force and moment. Okay, let uh, first, let us understand what is a hydrostatic force. Hydrostatic force is a force that is exerted from water to an object. For example, pressure force from uh, from the water to the bridge pillar, water force to the wall of a dam, or even water forces exerted to a fish in a tank. All of these uh, water forces is called hydro hydrostatic force. All right. <clears throat> now let's uh, let us imagine that we have a plane surface plate with height B and long A. The plane then is submerged in the water in three different positions, which is it is tilted by a degree of an angle, and then submerged vertically in the water. And last one, the position is completely submerged horizontally in the water. The average pressure. PC in all different position can be written as PC equal to rho g h c, where h c is the distance from the water surface to the centroid of the plane body. So this means uh, the average pressure PC is also acting at the centroid of plane body, which is the point C. Okay, next let's look at hydrostatic force FR. FR is acting below the average pressure PC. FR can be defined as FR equal to P, PC times A, where A is the area of the plane plate, where A equal to A times B. And by rewrite the equation, we will get FR equal to rho GHC times A. In all 3D in all three positions, the same equation is used in order to find the hydrostatic force. If the average pressure PC is also acting at the centroid, the hydrostatic force is acting at the pressure plane body which is point P, below the point C. Now let's look at a uh, line of action. Line of action can be defined I can be defined as the direction of pressure or hydrostatic force acting to the plane surface. In the figure, we could see that the line of pressure is represented by the red arrow, while the line action of hydrostatic force is represented by the green arrow. We must remember that the line of action must always perpendicular to the plane surface. Okay, now let's look at the distance of line of action. The line, the distance of line of action can be calculated using the equation of YC and YP. YC is defi defined as the distance from the surface of water to the pressure line of action PC, while YP is defined as the distance from the surface of water to the resultant force line of action FR. YC equal to S plus B over 2 and YP equal to YC plus ISX over YC times A, where ISX is the second moment, then NA is the area. And here is the centroid of a centroidal moment of inertia of some common geometries. Please remember all these simple equations. Now, let's look at moment in hydrostatic force. In hydrostatic force, moment is used when there is a problem related to hinge. The, per, the total moment on the plane surface is considered zero, where the force is in equilibrium. As an example, the total moment of, of hydrostatic force FR to reacting force FT can be written as FR times Y0 or Y0 minus FT times Y1 equal to zero, where Y0 or Y0 is the distance from hinge to FR, and Y1 is distance from hinge to FT. Okay, let, uh, let's look at example. 
Consider a 4 meter long and 4 meter wide and 1.5 meter high above ground swimming pool that is filled with water to the rim. A. Determine the hydrostatic force on each wall and the distance of the line of action of the force from the ground. B. If the height of the wall of the pool is double and the pool is filled with hydrostatic force on each double, will hydrostatic force on each wall double or quadruple? Now, let's use a problem solving method to solve the problem. First, let's sketch a schematic diagram of the problem, in this case, a swimming pool. Next, we will, be, we will take the initial condition where h equal to 1.5 meters and the water density is considered 1000 kg over meter cubic. Since the condition, since the final condition of this uh, pool does not change over time, so there is no final state. Now let's uh, let's take the problem to be solved. For A, we need to find FR and the distance of FR from the bottom of the pool. For question B, we need to find the value of FR if H is double. For uh, as uh, as assumption, we assume that the pool is open and exposed to atmospheric pressure PATM. Next, we will list the related equation, which is hydrostatic force FR equal to equal to FR equal to rho, FR equal to rho GHC times A. Okay, the distance to PC YC equal to S plus B over two, and the distance to FR YP equal to YC plus second moment over YC times A. Okay, all right. So that's all for today. As for the homework. Please answer all the two questions given. One, solve the question given in the example. Second, solve the question given below. And please submit your assignment by today before 10 o'clock. Alright, thank you very much.